Hello, everyone, and welcome to Observations from the Fence Post. This is a comic book review of The Approach, issue number four. Now, if you'll remember my, on my review on issue number three, I had some complaints that uh, uh, Boom or somebody had really messed up on the printing as they had extra pages and pages out of order. Well, I have to say and give credit where it's due, Boom corrected that and they sent it out. They sent out a corrected copy. And so I got a corrected copy free of charge. And uh, that was that was very nice. So I have the, uh, you know, the bad copy and a perfect copy of issue number three. And so I have to give credit where credit is due. Boom did notice they had a problem. They fixed the problem and worked with the comic book shops and with the customers like myself. And so now I have a, a bungled edition of issue number three and a corrected edition of issue number three. So thank you for catching that boom. And I thought I should mention that in the video. So issue number four. Whoa. Wow. Man, did this one go places I never thought this story would go. Um, this one is, is full of action and full of surprises. Um, what we have here is... The folks in the airport know where this creature is and where the nest is, and they decide that maybe they need to burn it or try to, um, you know, um, you know, blow the the nest up and and kill the creature. We also learn that uh, the older lady administrator Opal seems to know a little bit more than the others about this creature. So we've learned that, and this issue focuses on. Um, getting the survivors to a safer place in the airport so that, um, um, you know, a couple of folks can go to the nest and, and kill the monster. I still have a concern that we don't know as the reader too much about the airplane, which is where they got the, the, the title from, the approach, you know, this strange airplane that appeared apparently from that had been lost in time appeared and that's the thing that brought us the monster that uh, we've been dealing with in the four issues so i'm hoping that in issues after this that uh, we might find out what happened to this airplane uh, where it was where it went and and why it suddenly appeared um we are led to believe in this issue that maybe this creature has been here before and then it's returned. Um, we need to learn a little bit more about that. And so that's kind of kind of where we are as the reader. We are uh, still at the airport trying to fight this strange creature that, that came upon a, a plane that had been lost in time for many, many years. And as a reader, I'm thinking and kind of hoping you always kind of anticipate where the story may go. I'm kind of hoping that maybe some folks in the airport realize that this plane was lost in time uh, from the past and that maybe they can go back in the past and make some corrections of some things that happened in this issue. Because there were some very big things that happened in this issue that were quite a surprise. And I think if you're reading this series, you'll, you would agree with me that uh, this one has some shockers in it, this particular issue. So let me see if I can kind of show you some of the artwork in the issue without giving away any of the surprises, okay? Um, here we have, you can see the airport is still under a snowstorm. They're still trying to make, uh, make um, you know, uh, some preparations and plans. Uh, here's the creature in the nest. OK, um, you know, again, here here's some plans. OK, um, uh, here's where they start to evacuate the uh, uh, the survive the current survivors to a safer place in the airport. Um, here's where they start to make some plans on what they want to do about the nest. And, uh, you know, wow, uh, here is Mac and Tucker. Uh, headed towards the nest to see if they can, um, you know, uh, fight this thing. So this is kind of um, where the approach is going in this issue. I really don't want to ruin anything in the issue. 
Um, but uh, yeah, this one got exciting. So I do look forward and it ends on quite a cliffhanger. This one ends on a strong, strong cliffhanger. So if you like this kind of 80s monster vibe, you know, aliens, predator type stuff. It has a good one of that. Like I said, the only complaint I have so far is we still don't know a whole lot about uh, the airplane, what happened to it, why it was lost in time. We don't have a lot about that history. So I'm hoping that maybe they deal with that. Uh, if not, it's still been a great monster story. But boy, have uh, did they tease that airplane situation in the first issue and still waiting to see, learn more about the airplane. So anyway, that's my take on the approach, particularly this issue, issue number four. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me on this review. If you like what you heard, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate uh, your support and I appreciate you listening in. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if, if you're reading the approach and if you like the approach. And, um, you know, I'm sure that um, this will come into a later on. This will come out in a trade paperback, maybe even to trade hardback. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me. As remember, keep it between the ditches and peace.